This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. Priscilla Batzel. That is a cling wrap lined, glad cling wrap lined container. This used to be something that held chicken salad, two of them actually, and I cut them down to make scoops. This one has a wider lip up across the bottom, so I'm going to add some more paint in there. And I have to remember that the first thing in is the last thing out. So I'm going to start with some of my African violet and move on to some Fandango if it'll come out. And just go for some riotous colors. Some of these I have unscrewed the tops because I thought I would pour them in. This is my frozen. Actually, you know what? I have a bigger container of frozen. And I might like either Twilight Orchid. Yeah, I think Twilight Orchid is the way to go. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Okay, I should have put some other paint in the bottom of that dish because I'm not sure I'm going to get everything out of there I want. I have something for drama, and that would be some Midnight Shadow. What else? What else? What else? What else? I think that might be it. Maybe we'll try a little bit of dark water. Just because. <clears throat> I'm, I know, I'm still going for it. Some pink diamond. And I think I'm torn. I'm torn between the silver and the gold. So maybe I'll just go ahead with some of the French silk, which I wish would sink down and fill in. I can always add a little more. That's not coming out very well. Let's try a little bit of gold anyway. <laughs> see how I am. Oh yeah, no, that's beautiful. That'll be great. All right, let's see if I can move a few things. Now I have a canvas that I was kind of disappointed with, and it's gallery wrapped, 16 by 20 inch. Not sure if you can see part of it. I may fill those yet, but I figure I'm going to do something. I part of it I really like. This part and sort of this part I really like. But I've been talking about tilting something, and I want to kind of tilt. Tilt a poured ribbon. I'm going to put some orange in there too, because <laughs> I want to, because it called me out of the corner of my eye. It said, come, take me along. Yeah, I really want that. Who knows what's going to come out anyway, to tell you the truth at this point. But it is beautiful. It's beautiful in the dish at least. I can leave that to pool. Or I can just keep letting it come out. Kind of wanted that to be over on the side. And I have an edge catcher handy. So if I let that pool and move up, or let it all go down and then up, or just let it go down. <laughs> some variation. I'm going to use that paint right over the edge. And then I'm going to let it have its way. Can't beat those colors. I could probably just go on using those colors and be pretty happy. I was planning on using a basting brush or a chain or swiping. I'm not sure any of those things are going to happen. What is that? Wow, that is huge. That is what that is. I'm getting a good flow, so I used the right amount of paint, but it might take me a while to refill that container adequately. I'm going to use one of my little acetate tools just to smooth that up. 
let that flow down and pop a few bubbles while I'm here. I like that better already. I'm kind of thinking either more pink or some red. I've got poinsettia, which I happen to love, but this pink diamond is calling me right now. Oh, and I dripped. I kind of want to just play. So I'm going to take some of my colors right out of my container. Where I'm not seeing anything that's better than what I'm putting down. I'm kind of liking that a lot, actually. Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, and my usual thing that I talk about is my OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. They're on the Amazon link that's on the link tree that's under Show More under the video. Now if I put more paint down, and I want to, I guess, <laughs> I want to break this gold up a little bit and leave that pink up as well. Oh, I've got all kinds of gold down there. Let's snag that back again. And just use it. I'm kind of liking, I'm just having fun. This is my art therapy. Now that's a good pink color that's there, so I don't need to do anything to that. I'm going to examine what I've got. I'd kind of like to can, uh, camouflage the transitional spot where I put that angle in that I now regret. It was a good thought at the time. I like leading the colors and they are good colors. And I can put them wherever I want to. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to swipe or not. But I think I'm definitely interested in taking all of the colors right out of my pan. or scoop, or whatever you want to call it. My color pan. I kind of want to turn it on its head and see what it looks like the other way too. Because it occurs to me you probably can't see the whole thing. But that's because I've got bottles in the way. Like serious bottles in the way. Let's give you a shot at that <clears throat> right now while I contemplate my next stage. That's pretty cool. I want to hit it with a torch right now because I can see so many bubbles. As in, I shook everything right before this happened. That's not a smooth transition there. <coughs> so let's just turn it around the other way and think about this zone yet next. And I think I want this container. I'm going to be brazen and just put it right on there. And lots and lots of the pink diamond. Maybe I'll finish with some too. I said I wanted some poinsettia. And I'd like carnation. Pink carnation to be exact. Oh yeah. Excellent. I know, I took the top right off. It was dribbling anyway. I have, oh yes, I have some black raspberry. This is my opportunity to just have some fun combining whatever inspires me at the moment. Right here, right now. Although I do keep forgetting to put anything in the bottom. Like a layer of French silk or Chantilly lace. This is French silk, which is very iridescent. Let's throw a little bit of the African violet in there. As long as I'm in a similar color family. That is the 
Frozen. Remember I used the Midnight Shadow. I want something lighter. So Tuscan Sun with a little Orange Crush sounds like a good solution to me. didn't put any actual Orange Crush in there. I have a combination of Big Apple and Orange Crush. I wish I could fill this up enough so that I could really cover a lot of territory, but I don't think it's going to work that way. But it is my opportunity to try... Let's just use the Chantilly Lace like it is. I'm going to blow it out too. I don't know why I have that grease boat out. Alright. I might want to go back over this. Do I want any Tuscan Sun in there? like I did the last time. Where's my edge catcher? I'm going to need it. I'm having a good time. That's that's the important aspect of this. I didn't put any gold in there. For anybody who wonders what happens to my bracelets, they get paint on them. And then I sit there and have a really good time taking that paint off. So I let some of that go right down over the edge. And I'm going to slide it down and let it go right back again. Probably both ways. I think I'm just going to go, because I was looking at a two-part landscape I did last night, and I remembered how much fun it was to do zones. But I'm seeing that I want that paint from over here right now. Because I refuse absolutely refuse to waste good paint. It's better if you don't stick your card into the painting, but that in that case there's something stuck into the paint. There's a bubble there. Now usually, and I do have, an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, which is the best paint spreading tool around, but it also will take paint right off. Now I wanted to put some spirals in. But I also wanted to just play, and I might still be inclined or inspired to do a little bit of swiping. There's the white. That's Australian Floatrol with Aussie Floatrol. Let some of this drip right over the edge, like a lot of it has already. I was wondering how far I should go with these tools, and this is just my perfect opportunity to play. That's different. It's not bad, it's not good, it's not done. There's probably a two-part video coming your way for this. I'm inclined to just take my bottles and squeeze them directly onto the canvas instead of messing around with the container, but I'm still liking what I've got a whole lot more than I did. Because I've left a nice amount of excellent colors 
right in the container, fortunately. So I can take them out. They're not muddy or anything because I've only just poured them out. And they are gorgeous. They're prison pours, which reminds me, there's a 20% off coupon right under the video for color art, prison pours, primary elements, pigment powders, and all the other accoutrements that go along with those. Things that you can find by visiting the website, which is right there with it. It's nice. I've considered just grabbing a palette, something to hold paint, and just putting a bunch of paint in there and using my spatula. Well, it's a whole lot better than it was, and I've only got three minutes to tell you what I usually tell you, which is I have over 2,400 videos, and if you are interested in them, I have them all organized by topic and genre and added to playlists so they're easy to find for me or you. And if they're not easy to find for you, just ask me because I have them organized so they are easy to find for me. It occurs to me I could also toothy tool some of this. I'm not really unhappy with what I've got anymore. It's kind of beautiful. And I didn't lose all of the parts that I really liked. It didn't tip as much as I had anticipated. And I am using a lot of spatula. Princeton Arto Catalyst spatulas are on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on my link tree along with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group has a lot of students. And a lot of people who are going there are abstract expressionists also, which is not my original intention, but uh, they're welcome to be there. So they're there. And their stuff is pretty cool. Fun to look at. I'm having a really good time playing. I like having a dry canvas to work on top of. I really do. I'm not sure if I'll go on. If I go on, I'll give you another part. But for right now, I might well be done. There is no monthly drawing, but for those of you who are able to help contribute to keep the studio producing video tutorials by using the PayPal icon on the bottom of my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right, uh, there's an opportunity to get a 15 minute consultation with me for free. Break up my day, break up your day, ask me some questions, see what I can do. Nothing's moving very fast, but it's moving a little bit. I'm wondering about a basting brush before I'm gone, like I was wondering about the toothy tool. Let's toothy tool a little. Then I might have to do a little bit of um, torching to check there are no more bubbles. Okay, you're going to be gone in a minute. I've told you most of the things I need to tell you. I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Enough toothy tool. Let's combine it. Basting brush and lead some things. Right over the edge. Meld them with each other a little bit. Interweave them with some of the other cool things that are going on here. Just like you would a paintbrush. I'll tell you guys I love you and I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery. Saying I love you. I hope you come again. I post at noon Eastern Standard Time and uh, I hope you like that. That was fun art therapy for me. And if it's tiny tadpoles of different